I say, what would you like to do tonight? He says, I'm coming up to you from behind. I'm bending you over a trash can, making you open your legs. Dad? Yeah. I'm going to bed. Okay, all right, I'll be up in a bit. Okay, so what did everybody think? I thought it was disgusting. We're not staying with the story about some chick having fantasies about her teacher. Angela, I read your chapter. I think it's quite accomplished. Oh my God, that makes me so happy. Her body's melting together. Our lips, our tongues. Thank you. Now we can hear what our author in residence has to say. You're working on another novel? Yes. So how's it coming? Well, it's coming. It's slow. What if the next time you talk to your editor, you mention my novel to him? Professor Swenson, Angela is in your class. She thinks you're the greatest writer that ever lived. It's always good to have a fan. I was imagining you getting home and reading those really intimate pages and wondering if, you know. How's Angela Argo doing? Why do you ask? The stuff she wrote for me was terribly obscene. Would you help me carry the stuff up to my room? I never talked to a female student alone in my office without the door wide open. I wanted to talk to you about a novel that I'm writing. It's about a girl who has an affair with her teacher. That would be great. One of your students called. She sounded upset. You didn't call. I'm sorry. I did not think that that's what that was about. Well, now you know. She's charging you with sexual harassment. It's bullshit. That's not what it is. It's easy for you to have standards with your nice, fat teaching job. I should have known better. The aging, insecure writer. You're like a vampire sucking this kid's blood. Are you arresting me? Nothing's for free, you know? What's it gonna cost me? 